In this video, I'll explain the idea of multiple alleles in inheritance. In classical genetics, we are used to seeing traits with only two alternative phenotypes. In Gregor Mendel's study of pea plants, he looked at traits like pea color, green or yellow, flower color, purple or white, pod shape, round or pinching, stem length, short or long. Each of these traits is associated with a single gene, and each phenotype is associated with one of two alleles of that gene. But things aren't always that simple. For many traits, more than two alternative phenotypes exist. One reason for this is that for some genes, multiple different alleles or versions exist. This variety in alleles creates a wider range in phenotypes associated with one particular gene. An example of a gene with multiple alleles is the gene TYR, which encodes the fur color of a rabbit. The gene TYR is located on chromosome 1 of the rabbit. It has four different common alleles or versions, and these alleles exist in a series of dominants, from most dominant to fully recessive. The most dominant allele, called Big C, encodes a fully functioning version of the enzyme tyrosinase, which is involved in the production of the pigment melanin. Melanin gives the rabbit dark fur color, making it brown or black all over. Any rabbit with at least one big C allele will have this dark fur color all over its body. The next allele is CCH, which we call the chinchilla allele. This results in the production of a version of the tyrosinase enzyme that creates melanin in the tips of the fur, but the rest of the fur is white. So a rabbit that is homozygous for this chinchilla allele will have dark tipped white fur. The next allele in the series of dominants is CH, which we call the Himalayan allele. This allele produces a temperature-sensitive version of the tyrosinase enzyme that only works at temperatures below about 25 degrees Celsius. The only areas of a rabbit's body that are at that temperature are the extremities, like the ears, nose, and feet. So only in those areas will the tyrosinase work to create melanin, making those areas dark. In the core of the body, where this temperature-sensitive tyrosinase doesn't work, it won't be making melanin. A rabbit that is homozygous for this Himalayan allele will look like this, with a dark face, ears, and feet, but a white core body. The final allele, which is recessive to all of the other alleles, is little c, the albino allele. This allele encodes a non-functional version of tyrosinase, which is unable to make any melanin. A rabbit that is homozygous for this recessive albino allele will have no melanin production and completely white fur all over its body. It's important to remember that even though there are many alleles of the TYR gene available, each rabbit has only two copies of the TYR gene. One it inherited on its chromosome 1 that it got from its mother, and one inherited from the chromosome 1 it got from its father. That said, a rabbit can be homozygous, containing two identical alleles of this gene, or heterozygous, containing a combination of two of these four different allele options. As I said earlier, these alleles exist in an order of dominance that looks like this. This greater than sign indicates dominance, with the dominant allele on this side and the recessive allele on this side. The big C is dominant to all of the other alleles, meaning all of these genotypes will yield that dominant full body melanin production, resulting in a brown or black rabbit fur color. The chinchilla allele, CCH, is recessive to big C, but dominant to the other two alleles. So any of these genotypes will yield the chinchilla phenotype with dark tipped white fur. The Himalayan allele, CH, is recessive to big C and chinchilla, but dominant to the little c albino allele. So any of these genotypes will yield the Himalayan pattern of white body and dark extremities. And because the little c albino allele is recessive to all of these other alleles, the only rabbits with albino fur will be homozygous for the little c allele. As you can see, when there are more than two alleles of a gene, you can see more than two phenotypes associated with the gene. 
Additional alleles can increase phenotypic diversity. One thing to keep in mind is that rabbit fur color is also a polygenic trait, meaning there are many other genes that are involved in creating the overall fur color and pattern of the rabbit. The gene TYRP1 controls the coat color base, which can be brown or black. The gene MLPH controls how dense the color is in the fur. The gene ASIP controls patterning of the coat, whether each individual piece of fur has bands of color or not. The gene MC1R controls extension of color from the base of a piece of fur to its tip. And the gene KIT controls the pattern of spotting on the rabbit. So beyond the gene TYR in our main example, you can have even more phenotypic variation in rabbits based on the genotype of each of these other genes and how their expression products interact with each other and with those of the TYR gene. There you have it. The gene TYR in rabbits is a great example of a gene with multiple alleles. If you'd like to see another example of a gene with multiple alleles, see my video on ABO blood type. If you'd like to learn more about the concept of polygenic traits, see my video on that topic.